Hi, Dana. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing good, Mary Kay. Thank you. Thanks you're for welcome. having me here. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us in this uh, crazy spring we're having. Um, so this is Dana Pike Van Flake, uh, the uh, president, owner of the Family Tree Garden Center. Uh, and you're in Snellville, Georgia, right? Uh, would you tell us a little bit about your company and your background that some people may not know who you are? <laughs> Right. Um, well, I grew up in the garden center business. Um, I am lucky to be the daughter of Pete Pike, who started Pike Nurseries. So I grew up in the business and we worked together for many years until we sold uh, Pikes in 2004. Um, we were retired for just a little bit and really missed the industry. Um, so my husband and I wanted to do something different and my dad jumped on board and he says, well, why don't we open up the garden center in Snellville, the old Pikes. It was old Pike number eight um, out in Snellville, Highway 78. So in 2010, that's what we did. My dad was 80 and you know, when he was born. <laughs> so it was great to be able to see him work in the beginning from the ground up. I didn't get to be there in 1958 when he did that. So it's been a great experience. Oh, so I bet you cannot have ever imagined uh, your business operating today the way you have been operating the last month? Tell us, tell us what you've done. It, it is, but I feel like you know everything you've been through before always prepares you and makes you stronger for anything that comes your way. Um, so we made the decision early on. Thankfully, we were said we were an essential business because we sold you know, the vegetables and the seeds and the fruit trees and the, the bushes and everything. Um, so we were a food source and we're all in this together. So we decided to stay open to be the service and to the customer so they can grow their own food. Um, did, did you notice a drop off in customers or how, how has the spring been? In the beginning, it was a little bit of a drop off and we can manage it because we had a lot less employees than what we normally had. Um, but it has picked back up. Um, more people are getting out. Um, we've done a lot of the CDC guidelines straight from the beginning. We did the curbside service, the online, put your wish list together, email it, phone it in. And we were getting just hundreds of those. And we did that for a few weeks. Um, we just could not keep up and be open at the same time and with the limited staff that we had. So we did work that out for quite a while, but then we, we wanted to be all things to all people, but we couldn't be all things to all people. So we kind of put that on hold for now until some you know employees come back. Um, how many employees do you have working now? Um, we normally have around 35 to 40, and probably now in a given, it depends on the day of the week, we're probably around 25 throughout the week, just with different schedules. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's a lot less than what it used to be. So I think it's going to be just interesting to see how all these retail businesses do adapt as more people are, are entering the doors, but you're, but you're ready. We are ready. And we have, you know, everybody has masks now in the beginning, you had to bring in your own mask and employees were making masks. Um, we have all the hand sanitizer. Um, we do the wiping down of the carts. We only allow 50 people in, and it's almost five acres. We have the plexiglass around the registers like everybody is doing now, cleaning of the bathrooms. Um, it, customer service is different. Um, hard to say hello with a smile and a mask, you know. <laughs> I but, hadn't thought about that. <laughs> the customers have been grateful. Um, it's been such an outlet. It's such good mental health. Mm -hmm. There are people, millennials coming in that have never gardened before. We get to hear their stories. You know, there's families spending time together and gardening together. What you just said about it's a, an opportunity to introduce gardening to people who have, have never really thought about it. You know, families, young families starting to grow their own vegetables and fruits and it will keep up, I think. Well, I wish you the best of success for this spring and, and, and summer and the future. Um, and hope that uh, you and your family and all your employees stay safe. And, we will. Uh, we yeah. will. Thank you. Just have a, have a great afternoon, and we'll see you soon. 
That sounds good. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Take care. Bye, you too. Bye-bye. Bye.